Welcome to my kitchen. Really need to eat uh, clean. Wow. Mm, mm. So this is Francis Ngannou. He's got the strongest punch in mixed martial arts history. Francis registered the highest ever power punch by like 10,000 units. He's a 258 pound muscular monster. He literally is like Conan the Barbarian. What's going on everyone? It's Cecile Suede and in this video, I'm gonna be attempting Francis Ngannou's boxing diet. So this has been highly requested, especially after his boxing match with Tyson Fury. It was absolutely crazy. I mean, the dude is already a boxing legend and that was his first boxing match. But look, this diet plan is just as crazy. It's gonna consist of almost 3,000 1,200 calories coming from five clean meals, and I have never seen food combinations like you're about to see in this video. So we are definitely in for a treat by we, I mean me, and I don't really think it's gonna be a treat. Look, just a huge announcement here, man. I know there's so many of you guys that are looking for really good, valuable information here to, you know, get stronger, build muscle, lose body fat. So if you do wanna get leaner, feel better about yourself, and just improve upon your fitness goals, make sure you take advantage of the Cyber Monday sale campaigns that I'm hosting on my show. Shred program along with the Bro Cookbook, which is gonna be 50% off. So you can get a seven day personalized meal plan that tells you exactly what to eat, how to make it, and when to eat it, along with a workout program to burn fat fast. That is gonna be 30% off. Just click the first link description box down below to sign up today, along with the Bro Cookbook, which is my cookbook I launched earlier this year, which is currently 50% off. That cookbook will give you access to over 100 plus high protein recipes, so you never have to wonder what you need to eat, again, to lose fat and gain muscle. So Click the second link in the description box down below to get involved with the Bro Cookbook. Get the Shred Program to get your calories and macros that you need to follow, not Francis, not me, but you. And then also follow those high protein recipes with the Bro Cookbook to hit those macros and calorie goals to achieve your fitness goals. But look, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Smash the like button. After you've given the video a like, let me know in the comment section down below what else you'd like to see. I'd love to keep helping you all, entertaining you with more, and stick around because I'm definitely gonna be giving you all tons of awesome tips in this video. All right, so we've got so much going on here. So the amount of food that I have never eaten together in this diet plan is going to be out of this world. I mean, we have some brown rice, feta cheese, almonds, spinach, kale, beyond burgers, which is pretty much vegan burgers. I know what you're thinking, how in the world can a burger be vegan? But it's just made with no meat. Anyway, we also have scallops in here. We got bananas, tons of vegetables, raisins, and we have toasted oats. Not Cheerios, but toasted oats. <laughs> All right, so I just got done preparing meal number one, and Francis Ngannou typically has a bowl of cereal for breakfast. Okay, this isn't a typical bowl of cereal. This is the heavyweight championship version of a bowl of cereal. So what we got going on is two serving of toasted O's, not Cheerios, toasted O's. I don't know what the difference is, don't ask. But we also have mixed nuts. We got raisins, a banana, and then some milk to top it off. Look at this, man. This is almost 900 calories for a bowl of cereal. There's only like 29 grams of protein or something. In this video, I wanna give you all tons of information on gaining muscle. Look at Francis Ngannou. The dude has like a ton of lean muscle mass. And I wanna give you all tips on how to build muscle the right way because far too many people try to gain muscle. They get really fat and then they get into a yo-yo cycle of bulking and cutting. And that's far from what I wanna do. I've been able to maintain being lean, gain muscle slowly for the last like five years of my fitness journey. So anyways, guys, what you wanna do is avoid a meal like this. This is a horrible meal for gaining muscle. I'm sorry, Francis, but obviously he needs the calories, but I mean, for almost 30 grams of protein, 900 calories, and like what, 120 plus grams of carbs, you wanna stay away from meals like this. Have them be low to moderate fat, moderate carbs, and high in protein. It's gonna do you much more service in the long run when it comes to gaining muscle without body fat. Cheers to that, to the squad, to the weight squad. Wow, that is very disappointing. <laughs> not bad, but it's just not great for 900 calories and 120 grams of carbs. Okay guys, so we are moving on to more heavyweight recipes here. So taking you all through meal number two with a step-by-step -step walkthrough. I mean, this is gonna be a Francis Ngannou shake to make gains. Two bananas. After that, we're moving on to blueberries. Just make it rain. Now this is gonna be a little bit crazy, but we're putting almonds in a shake. Ugh, doesn't stop there. We're throwing in some kale now. And now we're putting in one scoop of cocoa powder. 
lastly, we're throwing in two scoops of chocolate brownie flavored protein powder. There is hope, my friends. There's hope with this. Okay, we're topping this off with some water. And now we pray. for it guys oh my gosh is that a piece of kale yep just went into my protein smoothie a piece of kale literally just went in my protein smoothie okay we are really just winging this let's hope if this tastes good look at how much volume this is guys oh my god that was not supposed to be chunky. Y'all just see that? Oh, that was chunky. Oh boy, cheers to the squad, the sweet squad. I need your support for this one. It's not bad actually, it's just a little chewy. Okay, I can definitely chew those almonds and that, that kale. There's literally like still that piece of magic kale floating around, which is really freaking me out right now. But look, that is going to be meal number two. So here's a huge muscle building tip. A lot of you guys who don't have appetites to eat in a small calorie surplus, which means that you're consuming a little bit more calories than you're burning throughout the day to ultimately gain muscle mass. Obviously, as you're getting stronger in the gym to build muscle, try consuming your calories with liquid. Right, so make like protein smoothies, you know, something high in protein again, moderate in carbs, low to moderate in fat, something like this. I would not recommend to be honest, A, because it tastes like doo doo, and B, you could just make it so much more tastier and a lot more higher protein and a lot less carbs and like less fat. If you do just need those extra calories, yes, you can slam in like whole milk in here, peanut butter, you know, um, protein powder, etc., things to really bulk up the calories, but make it taste like an ice cream smoothie, not this Francis and Ghana heavyweight torture shake. <laughs> This is literally the only thing saving it. Chocolate brownie impact wave protein powder. I'll leave it linked in the description box down below. Discount code a seal VIP at checkout saves you an insane amount. It's literally gonna change your life. Check it out. Wow, this is a massive package. But look, since we're on the topic of building muscle in this video, I know there's gonna be lots of questions about supplementation, and I was literally just talking about protein powder and saving an insane, life-changing amount of money on supplementation. It's gonna be very difficult to hit your protein goals if you are not supplementing with like protein powders or protein bars, or just in general, you know, like protein items you're really gonna enjoy on a day-to-day -day basis that make your life so much more convenient. So look, I always use these my protein protein bars, of course, the impact way protein powder. This is literally my go-to protein powder. I absolutely love it. There's tons of different flavors. These protein chips, like these two are awesome go-to protein snacks. It's just really gonna make your life easier when it comes to hitting your protein intake goal for the day, which is always around 0.8 to 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight. That is what I personally recommend and what I've been following for many, many years. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna leave my favorites page, which is literally a link that shows you all of these supplements that I like to use on a daily basis in the description box down below. Use the code ASEALVIP at checkout for 40% off your entire order on my protein. Go check it out. Make gains without destroying your wallet. 40% off with code of seal VIP. No other supplement company is going to give you that code. Go get some protein. Make some gains. All right, guys, so we've got quite the combination of foods going on for meal number three, which is going to be plant-based burgers with no buns. So we're using lettuce as buns, and then we have plant-based patties with two slices of vegan cheese, with two slices of tomatoes, slices of onions, and some ketchup on top. Go ahead and give this meatless lettuce burger a try. Cheers. Oh man, I don't even know where to start with this. Mm-hmm, that's definitely not me. Okay, if I had to describe these meatless patties, it just tastes like chickpeas. Like you grounded up a ton of chickpeas, spiced it the hell up, and called it a meatless patty. That's gonna be meal number three. I'm gonna try to enjoy this pre-workout. I have no idea how this is gonna sit in my body. Pre-workout, we're gonna find out, or the whole entire gym is gonna go running every time I, you know what I'm saying. <laughs>
quick physique update along with a little bit of a, my back and shoulders workout, but I'm feeling so freaking good right now with where we're at in the holidays. I mean, I'm 170 pounds morning body weight at 5'8" maybe 5'9 on a good day, but it feels so good to have a foundation of lean muscle mass. A lot of you guys wonder like, how are you 5'8 but 170 pounds and pretty damn lean? It's because I took the proper amount of time to gain muscle mass as I was dropping body fat over a long period of time. So if you need help with that, you don't know what to do in the kitchen with your diet in order to lose fat and gain muscle, also what to do in the gym, just check out my shred program. I'll leave a link in the description box down below. Again, it's 30% off, take advantage of that. You'll get workouts with the exercises like you saw today and you'll get to lose fat and build muscle. I can't breathe right now. I feel like a total bro. Francis and Ghana was proud of that. Okay guys, we got meal number four about to go down and this is 1,116 calories. Just a whole bunch of stuff. So we have scallops cooked in olive oil. I don't think I've ever had scallops in one of these Celebrity Day in the Diet video challenges. Brown rice on top of the scallops cooked in olive oil with green peas, spinach, and feta cheese. First of all, every single time I eat green peas, literally every single time, ever since I was a kid, after I watched that one episode of Powerpuff Girls. If you know, you know. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and give this scallop a try. I don't even know if I cooked it right. Look, check that out. Mm, 10 out of 10. Best thing I've cooked all day. Mm, oh yeah, the flavor combo, the feta with the scallops and the green peas. So just a huge muscle building tip here. When you are focused on building lean muscle mass, try to have a lot of variety in the foods you eat. Like you don't have to stick to the same thing. Generally when you're cutting, you're focused more on the same foods because it's just easier to be on routine, especially in a calorie deficit. When you're bulking, have a little bit more fun. Increase the amount of variety with the proteins you eat. Switch it up every single meal so you don't get bored and like stay to your own structure of a routine rather than like wanting to eat out and getting cravings of fast food because that will happen when you're just like out of the funk and not switching up your kind of meal you're eating when you're bulking. So we're moving on to meal number five, the last meal of the day. It has been quite the day, but we have a protein shake and a banana. Honestly, the most simple meal all day long. This is the weirdest combination of foods I think I've ever eaten in one day. And it's sitting decent. However, that burger, man, that meatless patty. Jordan, you are in for one tonight and probably the next week to be honest. <laughs> but get this guys, the total macros and calories in Francis and Ganu's boxing diet consisted of 3,436 calories coming from one 125 grams of fat, 399 grams of carbs, and 217 grams of protein. So considering he's like 200 and almost 60 pounds, seems like he's going for 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight, which is a lot more realistic than most celebrity day in the diet videos. Like we're not eating 400 grams of protein here despite him weighing a lot. That makes a lot of sense. Try to stick to around 0.8 to one gram of protein per pound of body weight. And also don't follow this type of diet. Everybody needs a different macro and calorie goal. I cannot emphasize that enough. This is for pure fun and entertainment. It's a great way for me to smack on so many great tips when it comes to losing fat and building muscle the right way, guys. I show you what not to do and what to do instead. With that being said, if you don't have a calorie and macro goal, you have no idea what to eat, how to make these foods, what to do in the gym, check out my shred program. It's currently 30% off for Cyber Monday. It is literally everything you need in the kitchen and in the gym to succeed with your muscle gaining and fat loss goals. And then also take advantage of that Cyber Monday sale for the Bro Cookbook, which is my cookbook that'll give you 100 plus high protein recipes that you're actually gonna enjoy and that are literally easy to make. And that cookbook is also 50% off. I'll leave it linked second thing in the description box down below. Take advantage of that Cyber Monday campaigns. Get everything you need to be the best you possible this upcoming new year. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Smash the like button right now if you did or Francis Gano is gonna show up at your door and force you to eat meatless patties all day long. Appreciate every single one of you watching. I'll see every single one of you in the next video.